They're not fucking saying that. They're making fun of you. They're not even your people. You're hanging around with a bunch of frauds. Get out of your way. Go fucking become who you want and watch those motherfucking haters come out that you thought were your friends. So number one, everybody in this room, I want you to think about something. Every one of you came to change something, am I right? Yes. Was everybody hoping to change something when they came here? Yes. Not everybody fucking said yes. yes. What's your problem? Get out or fucking be coachable. Yes. You got me? Yes. See, listen, I'm going to ask you guys a couple questions, and we're going to decide how we're going to have this conversation, because I can go two different ways. Number one, I can, I can feed you ice cream and make you feel good. Okay, like a three, four, five year old. And some of you guys need that because you get your feelings hurt every time somebody tells you the truth. Yep. And that's why you don't change. And that's the reason why you're broke. And that's the reason why you don't have a team. That's why your children don't look up to you as your hero. And that's why your wife doesn't admire you. And that's why you look in the mirror and you fucking hate you. Or I can give you the cold hard truth and, and teach you and treat you like the badass as you want to be. Which way? Yep. Come on, which way? Yeah. Who wants ice cream? Get that motherfucker out of here. All right. He's in the wrong room. He's in the wrong room. All right, listen. So number one, here's what I want to tell you, okay? First of all, this isn't about me. We got that? This is about fucking you. This is about you. This is about her. If I offend somebody with some cussing today, I apologize. Okay? Whenever I go to change people's lives, you know what I do? I just am me. I'm not trying to be a fraud. I'm not fake. I'm not up here to get you to follow me. I'm not, I'm not here to get you to, to want to go do training with me or spend money with you. If you want to, that's cool. Because I spent a lot of motherfucking money becoming the person that I am today. You know what I love about our era? It's 2023. You know, I was born in 1979. I'm 43 years old. And I woke up at 39. You guys don't want to waste any more time in your life. Trust me, okay? Now listen, I'm proud who I am. If I was to die today, swear to God, I tell my team every day, if I go out today, I'm good. I'm proud of me. I'm finally at a point in my life where I feel like I'm becoming who I need to be and I'm not letting anybody down and I'm not letting me down anymore. Now I want to tell you something. Money isn't why we're here. We're here to become the motherfucker that gets it all. Am I right? That's why we're here. We're here to get it all. I don't want you to just get money and then hate who you are, get fat, and leave your family. Do you get me? There was a day and time at which one point my wife said that she's learned to live without me. You know what, man? That broke my heart for a minute because I had a thing called E-G-O. It's called fucking ego. And by the way, pride, ego, and entitlement is death. The truth that I give you today, I swear to God, all the speakers in the world can deliver it better. I'm going to tell you how to change your entire life. Now, we got a lot of work to do, okay? We're going to have to cut some fucking people out. You're going to have to start treating yourself better. We're going to have to get in shape. There's a lot of shit we're going to do, but we're going to do it all in the next 45 minutes, okay? So I'm basically going to give you the blueprint on how I changed my life. Now listen, in three years, I built a nine-figure business. I want everybody to understand something, okay? What's fucking possible? Everything. Everything. You don't believe that. You don't believe that. You want to say that you believe that, but you don't believe that. I want to tell you something. When I was at, my mom left when I was two, five brothers and sisters, Jerry Springer show. For anybody who's older, I didn't have a curfew. Second grade, I'd be gone for months. Sixth grade, I was tripping on acid. I had no parents. You know what life's like as a kid with no parents? You're fucking raised by kids. It's, it's a shit show. I made bad grades. I barely graduated high school. Tornado took out my school in Oklahoma. They said if you had passing grades, you could pass. I had straight D's. I was gonna, I was gonna fail my semester test, but <laughs> Tornado took my school out. I didn't have to take it because I had straight D's, I passed. I got a job in sales at 18. Now some of you guys already, what I'm telling you, were not the same. You know what I've learned? You suffer as a kid, you kill it as an adult. You get fucking babied as a kid, you fucking get crushed as an adult. I love disappointment. I love it. You know what I do for a living? I solve problems. I get paid to solve people's problems, and I solve them very fast. You know, before I could solve anybody else's problem, I had to solve my own problems. And some of you in here want to be fucking coaches and all that shit. Your life's fucked up. Okay, it's time to be the example. You guys feel me? Oh, yeah. Everybody get it? You want to be a fraud or you want to be real? Real. real. 
Okay, am I speaking the truth today to you guys? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Some of you today, you're not going to participate. You know why? Because you never do. You think slow, you act slow, you don't write shit down, you're already fucking around on your phone. Why did you come? Today's conversation is only for the one presenters. I'm sorry if they told me to deliver a message to everybody, I'm not. You can get that shit for free on YouTube. So I'm gonna give you guys the cold hard truth, how to build a fucking legacy, how to give your kids generational habits, not money, but habits. So when they get the money, which is easy, they'll keep it, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to be a person, dude, that literally can be unstoppable and do whatever you want. Now listen, some of you, everything in life, right? You look at people's pants, my, my shit's tight. Your fucking bank account's tight, okay? My shit's short, right? But guess what, you fucking come up short every fucking day on your promises and your commitment, okay? I've got a killer team. I've got a team of 100 killers that run with me. I built them, they're all underdogs. I believe in over overcomers. Who wants to be an overcomer? Overcome every fucking Goliath problem in your life? All that shit, all that shit was the best thing that ever happened to you. It's getting you ready for what you're gonna go through now. Everything that is bad in your life is good for you. You don't wanna change that. You wanna embrace it. That's what makes you dangerous, okay? I want to explain money for a minute so we can say, everybody say believe. believe. Yeah, really fucking do it. Yeah. How about that? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. At 18 years old, I got in sales. You know what I learned? I learned that in sales, I made $1,700 my first day I was broke. I'm gonna be honest with you, there's a side of me I don't like to talk about. I was embarrassed as a kid. I was so embarrassed, man. We didn't have money. I wore the same pair of clothes every two days. Man, some of you guys didn't have to go through this shit. But some of you had a really fucked up life, okay? Same pair of clothes every two days, couldn't go anywhere, didn't have any money. Dude, it was fucking embarrassing, right? So at 18, when I got into sales, I'm like, dude, we can make some money. Dude, that was gonna change everything. And it did. But you know what I learned? I made 120 grand when I was 18. I made 220 at 19. I made my first 500 grand at 20. By the way, listen, I stuttered. Speaking will be the number one skill in your life if you're gonna communicate with people. You better get good at it. I had to learn how to be a master communicator. I sucked. I didn't look like a winner, I was a loser. I was a real loser, I was born a loser and I changed my life, okay? And I wanna tell you guys how you're gonna do that in your life today. But more importantly, I met my wife when I was 24 years old. My wife believed in me in a way that no one else ever believed in me. Some of you today, who's got someone at home that they love? Boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, look at all the hands, just look around, look at all these people. Do you know that that person is your greatest superpower? Yet you and treat everybody better than them. You get excited for new leads, you get excited for new calls, and you're not excited when they are there. I assure you, you get a bad doctor's note today, they'll be the only one there. And everybody else is gone. All of you are gone when I get sick. But my wife will be there. Okay? That's the fucking truth. Why do we treat other people better? I see some of you motivating other people to get paid, but you don't motivate your own family. What the fuck are we doing? Dude, that's the good shit in life. Your job as a man or a woman is to bring home good shit to your wife, your kids, and your family and give them love. That's it. That's your job as a freaking badass and as a leader. You can't lead anyone else if you're not leading your family. Am I right? Now, some of you, you're not going to change. Good. Sit in shit. We're going to keep kicking your fucking ass. Quit complaining and being a whiny little bitch when you don't get what you want. You don't take care of anything. And you don't listen. You don't learn. And you're uncoachable. That's why we're fucking kicking your ass. That's it. And guess what? Listen, when I'm done, I'm a Christian. You may say, oh, man, this is, you know what? Fuck you. You know what I know? Hey, I know this. It's, it's about time you guys quit worrying about what everybody else 
and thinks about you. No. You don't need permission. You're never going to become anything if you don't wake up. Now, what I don't like to do is have you guys see me here today as I'm talking to you, thinking that you can become this now. It doesn't happen that way. Okay? I want to play a video for you for two seconds. And I want to show you where I started in November of 2019. I walked away from a $2 million job. I wanted to change my life. I hated who I was. I wanted to have fulfillment. What is heaven on earth? Doing what you love and being fulfilled in your heart and making a ton of money. I was making money, but I hated me. I was ready to go work at Lowe's to get the hell out of this. That was not how I wanted to go out. Now listen, I'm gonna tell you something, okay? I was a broke loser. I made a lot of money and it never made me happy. Now today I'm gonna to show you how to make a ton of money and I'm also gonna show you how to get it all, all of it. All, and I'm not gonna inspire you. I don't want you motivated today. I want you to change. Until you change, nothing changes. Nothing. You're lying to yourself if you think it's gonna change if you don't fucking change. You leave here motivated, you're an idiot. You didn't even listen to me. Change, man. Everybody say believe. Believe. This is your fucking superpower. I will tell you this, no one is going to believe in you as much as you'll ever believe in yourself. If you're waiting on someone to the left and the right of you right now to believe in you, you're never going to make it. You damn sure can't compete with me, and you're not going to dominate your industry being the top 1%. In 2019, I set out to shoot free YouTube videos, free, F-R-E-E. -E. You know what that means? Me and my family went a year fucking broke. We went a year without making money. You know why? Because I wanted to give value first. What's the number one selling skill in the world? Reciprocity. You give fucking first. You give first, they'll give you everything. If you spend zero with me and you make 10 grand, fuck man, what if I spend 100? What could I get? What if I spend zero and I made 100,000? What could I get? Today, we train almost 500,000 salespeople, 11,000 companies. We got a nine-figure business. Listen to me. In three years, my first year was free. I went out. How many of you haven't shooken anybody's hand in this building? You didn't say hi to anybody. What's in it for me? That's your mentality, and that's why you're stuck. People don't, the people that you want to serve are the center of your universe. If you want to build something great, make your people feel powerful and strong and significant and make them feel that they matter and be real. Don't be a fucking fraud. You know what I did? I gave out content for a year straight every day. I said, guys, in this video today, I'm going to teach you. If somebody says they need to think about it, this is the word track you're going to say. Now, listen up. You're going to need to use your hands. You're going to need to use your mouth. By the way, I had a squeaky ass little bitch voice, right? You know why? Because I didn't believe in me. My body changed. I was 170. I'm 2 to 210 now. I'm lean. I'm older. I've, re I've reversed youth. Why? Because I'm alive. I wasn't fulfilled. Now, this is what you're going to do. You're going to make a motherfucking blueprint today, and you're not ever going to get off it again. And I want to tell you this. That shit was a bitch. I worked from 7 in the morning till 2 a.m. at night sometimes. You know what? Everybody told me I was a joke. Okay? Everybody told me. that We got some Grant Cardone guys back here. Listen to me. In 2019, I had one simple goal. I was going to take Grant Cardone out of the automotive industry. That was what I was going to do, and I fucking did it. I did it. Now, he can have all the real estate he wants. I wanted the sales training space in the automotive industry to start. That's where I wanted to start. Some of you guys got five businesses. You're an idiot, man. Choose one. Be the best at it. Own the niche. Get rich. Own that shit. And then go to another one. But you're trying to do five things at one time. Automotive was my number one deal. We signed up like 10,000 companies. Do 10,000, we fucking dusted them. Clack, 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 clack. I was knocking on every door. Do, 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 do. What's up, Andy Elliott? I'm gonna come in your store, bring your top guys to me. I'm gonna hit them with the three top objections they get in their company. If they can overcome it better than me, I'll walk out of here and you laugh at me. But if not, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. And if you like it, I'll tell you how much the training costs and I wanna teach them all. Come on, man. You got ego, you got pride, put it on the line. I'm calling you out in your own company. Store to store to store, got fucking thrown out, got embarrassed, got rejected. Do I care? No. My wife says, how many stores you get thrown out a day? 30. 
How many did you close? Two. Good job. Keep fucking going. One day they're all they're gonna all want to be with you. Now, we got people. Listen to me. We got people every day that says, "Can we please renew our contract?" Listen to me. When you sign up with us, we didn't do a contract. You know why? Because I would tell people, "Hey, listen to me. If I do a contract with you, it means I probably won't do my job in six months from now." That's what most fuckers do when they have you sign a contract. And that's why you hate signing contracts. So I'm gonna do it month to month with you. Okay? I'm gonna do it month to month, and I don't want a contract. As soon as we started blowing up and our training was crazy and it changed all their lives and the ROI they got. You know what the email was to us? We want to sign a five-year contract because we know your prices are about to go up and we don't want the prices to go up. We are committed to you for the long haul. Send us a contract. Send us a contract. And then I had to decide, do I want to do a contract with them? Isn't that a beautiful life? How many years did it take me to do this? Three. You know what I know? I didn't have me as a coach. I studied everybody. Bradley, Ed Milet, Andy Frazella, David Goggins, Russell Brunson on marketing, E.T. Eric Thomas for, for mindset, Gary V for just not giving a fuck who you are, just fucking go do it. All of those guys. Every, I, I watch David Goggins every day. My wife was like, dude, you have to turn David Goggins off. <laughs> I, I, I needed to, I needed to, kill off the old me. You know what I'm saying? Guys, listen, let me explain what's dangerous with me. I never lose my edge. I never unplug. I pay more money a year in self-coaching and investment than anybody else. And I just continue to grow. The more I spend on me, more money I make. So crazy, man. Some of you guys are in here, you're, you're in real estate, you're in all this shit, man. You get 7% on whatever you do. I get fucking 1,000% every time I spend money. When I spend money on me, you know what I have? I have something that most people in this world don't have and it's called security. I can sit down at the kitchen table with my wife and kids, my three kids, my beautiful wife, and they fucking know I don't find my security in money, in houses, in cars, or even in a job. It's here, it's inside of me. It's where it fucking belongs. Most of you are finding your fucking security in other shit right now. And that's the reason why you're so concerned what everybody else thinks about you. Here's what I want to tell you, it's 2023. You know what that means? It means we are in the era to learn from the greatest influencers in the history of time. When I grew up, I used to want, want to watch movie stars. They're fake movies. They prepare for a fake life, and we watch them for entertainment. As I got older, I realized that we can watch influencers, people that actually are killing it, crushing it, and will share their information on how they do it. Now, what is that? Compressing time frames. Feel me? How to turn decades into days. Anybody like Patrick Bed David? Raise your hand. I want you to call your shot. I remember in 2020, I was in the vault, and Patrick met David, go stand up here, tell me what you want to do. Everybody, there's a thousand people. He said, stand up here, if you got the courage, call your shot, get up here. I'm an introvert, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, I am not an extrovert, okay? But you know what? I had to get over that shit. I had to get the fuck over it. You know what I decided to do? Fuck everybody. I'm gonna recreate myself, I'm gonna reinvent myself every single day till I die. And my first slide, I put it up here, um, which I don't even have my deal, but it says recreate yourself. Maybe you can flip it. It says recreate yourself. Everybody say reinvent yourself. <laughs> Here's what I'll tell you is this. Reinvent yourself means this. Do you guys want to be who you are right now or you want to be someone different? Different. different. Anybody know who Jim Rohn is? Raise your hand. Jim Rohn? Anybody know who Tony, Ro Tony Robbins is? Raise your hand. Yeah, a lot of you guys know who Tony If you don't know who Tony Robbins is, you're like, what, where are you at, dude? What are you watching? Right? Okay, but Jim Rohn was Tony Robbins' coach. And what Jim Rohn taught Tony Robbins is it's not about who you are, it's about who you're becoming, Tony. Okay, it's about who you're becoming, that's all that matters. I wanna give you guys the good news in here. I have so many people over in my life. Yeah, I've burned them. I've lied, I've been in trouble, I've done all the bad shit you shouldn't do. Drugs, cheated, all of it. I didn't want to do that shit. I was fucking running with the wrong people. I decided to be the influencer and be the leader. Are you going to tell your kids to be the leader or be the follower? Be the leader. I was being a follower my whole life because I never believed that a guy like me could be the leader. You know what? You're all leaders. All of you in it. Today's event is about you becoming the exa example for yourself, for your family, for your kids, for your clients. I want you guys to be proud of you from now on. 
And I want you to realize that everybody in this room is qualified. All of you are. All of you are qualified. That fucking guy, I made a lot of money. I gave my wife a beautiful house and cars, and she hated it. I was never home. I was never present. You know, something that I teach in every event is be where your feet are. Some of you guys are with me here right now, but you're really not here. You're actually somewhere else. You can't control your mind. The greatest gift that God ever gave you is your mind and your heart. Our company grew because we played with our heart. And I'm telling you today with my heart, I'm not educating you. I'm not coming in here to be your instructor. I'm not yelling at you. What I'm doing is telling you to wake the fuck up. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Why did you come out here today? To get inspired? We don't want that. That won't last. In two weeks from now, that'll be gone. We want you to change. So what era are we in? 2023. Dude, remember I told you I studied all these guys? Remember? Andy Frazella, Ed Milet, Bradley, all these guys. How many of you in here would like to find an influencer and make them your new best friend? I would. You know what happened? Here's what's crazy. I finally got an opportunity to train, right, with Patrick Bet David. You know what it cost me? It cost me 10 grand in the beginning, then it cost 100 grand. Yeah, you're gonna spend some money. Everybody, what's it gonna cost? More than you want to pay. If you don't pay it, I'll pay it. You stay the same. Keep your money. Stay the same. I don't want to take a risk. You're already taking a fucking risk. Not doing anything is the biggest risk at all. You're sick to your stomach about who you are now. Dude, believe in yourself. Damn, man. You think your wife wants you to be a fucking coward? You think your children want you to be a coward? Don't fucking give your kids the pep talk speech to fucking level up and go after it all when you're a pussy. Don't do that shit. Quit being a freaking coward. Wake up, man. By the way, if you can become this, you're unstoppable. You're unstoppable. And you know what I know? You're gonna find your tribe. You're gonna find your team, you're gonna find your army, and you're gonna find a band of brothers, men and women, that fucking run with you, and they'll die for you, and you'll die for them. And we were made for communion in life. We were made to do life with people. Okay, a lot of you are doing it with the wrong fucking people. You're better off to be alone than be with the wrong people. Okay, if you only got one person in your life and they're at home and they believe in you, maybe some of you are gonna go home today and you didn't bring them with you. I'm sorry about that. You should have brought them with you because they need to hear this with you. But you're gonna go home and you're gonna tell them how you're gonna change. You know what they're gonna say? No, you're fucking not. You know why? Because you've made false promises since you've been with them. And nothing you fucking say you're gonna do, you do. But today, you get a fucking chance to change that. Today, it takes 30 days to make a habit. You get a chance for your family to see you become a new person within the next 30 days. And you know what I want you to do? I want you to do something else. Okay, you guys ready for this? Do this total recreation? I want you to play this next video. I'm gonna grab this guy for just a second. This is super important, okay? What do you see when you see this guy? Hold on, hold on. That better not have been a guy. We don't do that shit. all right? Does everybody know who The Rock is? Yeah. Did y'all see Zac Efron, Transformation? Y'all remember he went from being a little kid to a little stud? Okay, Will Smith, hundreds of others. This guy's been in Hollywood training actors to become ready for movies that in 90 days they need to get ready because if they're not ready, it costs them millions. So they pay him to come in and fucking torture him. And, and, and listen, get them results they couldn't get in three years and get them in 90 days. Who are you looking for in your life? You guys looking for fucking pikers or the best? Okay, would you rather pay for somebody half ass or pay for somebody who's gonna get the fucking job done? When I found out about him, I went and hunted him down. I needed the best. Guys, I'm gonna tell you something right now that's gonna change your life. Choose health over money. Listen to me, some of you right now, the reason why you're so easy to take out, I'm not disrespecting you. The reason why you're so easy to take out is because you're unhealthy. You have no idea what's going on inside your fucking body. You keep telling yourself, hey, one day we're gonna put all this work in and then I get my yacht. No, you're not. You're never gonna make it to the fucking yacht. 
you're never going to make it there. You know why? Because inside of you, when you eat like shit, your fucking heart turns to plaque. You're killing yourself internally. You know the stress that it takes to build a badass business? You guys know? Does anybody know the stress it takes to build a badass business? Is that good for you or bad for you? It's bad, but when you're in shape, you don't feel it, man. Because you're on fire, your endorphins are flying, you're ready, you're battle tested, your mind sharp, you're, you're protected, man, you're healthy. Dude, I can go undergo a surgery right now, I'm good, dude. I'm ready to roll anything that comes my way. I'm fucking battle tested. I get refined by the fire every single morning. I put good shit in my body because I want my brain to react quick, sharp. I don't want to be fucking dull like a spoon, I'll be sharp like a knife. So what did I do? I made a decision in 2019 to choose health over money. For 20 years, I chased money. I hated me. Now listen, you guys decide what you believe today. Y'all decide. Some of you right now, could you imagine if you fucking put yourself first and got in the most elite shape of your life, looked in the mirror and you saw your best body, how would you treat yourself? Good! How would you treat everybody else if you saw yourself great and if you loved yourself? Dude, the way that you'll love God, the way that you'll love your kids, the way that you'll love your spouse, the way that you'll love your clients, the way that you'll grow in business all changes when you put your health first. Health first. Does that make sense? Today's the day we're going to change. I, I don't hang out with people that eat fucking trash food. I, I don't want to be around you. I'm going to explain how this works. This is this easy. I don't go to fucking barbecues with people that are fucking losers. I say no. I go through a season of saying no. I'm, I've been in a season for saying no for three years now. If I can't get value from you, and I don't mean like money, I mean value. If you don't make me want to fucking reach for more, I'm out. I cannot spend time with you. I love you. I love you. I want to train you to get better. Okay, I'll sit down with you if you want to pay me. I'll like spend time with you during that time, and then you got to leave. And if you want to be my friend, you got to fucking level up. Okay, you go hang out with a fucking trash can, I promise you just 10 minutes of hanging out with the trash can, they fucking kill your mindset. From this day forward, you're gonna go find people who are, who are where you wanna go and, and who you wanna become. And you're gonna pay whatever it costs to get close to them, and you're gonna do whatever it takes. If it takes moving across the country, get in your fucking car and move. If it takes spending money, spend all of it you got. What money is, a, is just to make more money. But money is a tool, guys. You know money's fake. Does everybody know that in here? I mean, you guys get that. I know some broke people are like, no, no, money's real. It changed my life. Bullshit, dude. Money is easy to make. Dude, the universe will give you whatever you earn, but you're not earning shit. You're not who you need to be. You're not the authority. I don't want to hang out with you. I don't want to be friends with you. You know what I want you guys to do? I want you to change. You know what I want you guys to do? Did you guys watch that video with him? Did you guys watch that? Yeah. Pretty fucking cool, right? I always in my life, I always want to be around the right people. You know what I did in 2020? I made that shout out to Patrick Bet David and I told him I was going to have the world's number one sales training program. Bet your fucking ass on it. And I didn't, but I believed. You know who was there with me? My wife. Okay. When I had the courage to stand up in front of that fucking room, because dude, remember, I wasn't always me. I feel like it's bad for me to show you me now and to make you think you can do that without going through the fucking, the, 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 the fire. You guys feel me? Yeah. These people that tell you you can fucking change today are right. But you can't become a multimillionaire overnight. You have to change. Don't give fucking weakness a voice. Get rid of the losers. Quit your fucking bullshit bad habits. Clear your mind out. And fucking invest in yourself. With everything you got every day. Dude, I'm going to give you guys the best advice here in a minute that anyone has ever given you in your whole life. But I'm going to let Aaron talk to you for one minute. By the way, he's a trainer. He's a trainer for my team. He pushes us every day. If anybody wants to know, I live in Scottsdale. I live in Fountain Hills. We've got a compound. The videos you saw, I started at my kitchen table. At my kitchen table. We had a 700 square foot facility that was $1,200 a month. We didn't know how we were going to pay for it. We f***ed up in that room. You guys don't need a big, beautiful building right now to change. I changed in my kitchen. I didn't need a new building. I needed a new fucking mind. I needed a new work ethic. I needed a new way I treated my family. I needed to believe in me more. Okay? 
And that's why you got to take your wife with you. That's why she's the most, or your husband is the most important thing to motivate. You're motivating everybody and you're sh** to them. Change that f***ing bullshit. Okay? Prove your haters wrong and anybody that's believed in you, love them. But f change. I want you to change so fast that people, I want you to have so much intensity, so much passion, so much courage. People question why the f*** are doing this. Like, what the f***, man? People walk around and they're like, dude, who the f*** this guy I think he is? F*** you. I don't care. Eat sh man. You think you're going to bother me? Dude, listen to me. Once you're a loser, when you're a loser and you're not doing anything big, nobody's fucking hating on you. When you go up, when you change lives, when you're after helping other people, they get fucking pissed off. Guess what? If you're not getting hated on, you're not even doing nothing right now. You're physically, you're, you're, nobody knows you. Get everybody to know you. So from now on, what you do in business is what you do at home is what you do when you're at the grocery store. When I walk into the grocery store, I'm like, hey, what's going on, man? You're doing a good job today. You got the best attitude in the store, man. I love that. She's never going to forget me, ever. That's who you need to become. Become someone in your life that when your time's up, you're like, man, God, you use me for a great purpose. You don't ever know what someone's going through. You have no idea, man. That's why you guys in here that are the broken ones, that are dead and broke or you're having problems, dude, you're the most dangerous ones in the room because that was me. You know what's super cool, and I'm going to hand this mic to him for a minute, is I'm doing an event, right? I do lots of events. Guys, who lives in Arizona? Raise your hand. I fucking live 20 minutes from here. I have a compound. It's a 70,000 square foot compound with a big gym in it, massive fucking seminar room, upstairs fucking killers. We destroy it. You guys can come by any day you want and see it with your own eyes that this is, I'm just having a conversation with you guys. This is how we live, okay? This is how we live. This is how I want you to live. You guys feel me? I might yell, okay? Hey, there we are. But watch this, I don't have a problem yelling, so I don't even need a mic. But here's what I'll tell you is this. This is a for real deal. I remember though, when I didn't believe, I had and when I started to believe, everything changed, okay? I brought this guy on board when I choose health over money. You know what he did? He changed my life. I believe in the brotherhood. That's what I believe in. Anybody know what that is? Bless you. Anybody know what the brotherhood is? Okay, it's people who believe the same way you believe. It's people that will fucking protect you and watch your back when you're in a room. The people that if you say some shit about me, guess what, number one, they don't give a fuck, but they will fucking guard and protect me. And I'll do the same thing for them. You all need a group like this. All of you need this. Okay, this is called your chosen family, by the way. I just, I, I completely left my, my real family. Other than my father and one of my brothers, I, I left them all. They don't believe in me, I'm out. I found my real family. And you guys can be a part of us as well, because I am you, you are me, we're all the same. Guys, I'm not better than any of you. You know what I am? I'm fucking obsessed. You know what I am? I'm fucking grateful. I can't believe God has kept me healthy. I should be dead. How many of you should be dead in this room? Come on, man. Come on, man. Are you using your, fucking, you using your, right, your, your, your life right right now? Come on, man. You got more in you. You shouldn't even be here, dude. Okay? Quit giving your energy to fucking bullshit, okay? One minute, then we're going to fly through building the empire. Aaron, you got one minute to tell them if there was something that could change their life, right? By the way, this guy right here, he's a bad ass. Tell them who you are real quick. And, and give them some advice real quick, because I don't have them talk ever, but I want them to talk to you guys for a minute. Are you awake yet? Yeah! yeah. I challenge you to look in the mirror and ask yourself if you really know who you are. Because I would be willing to bet you, you have no idea who you really are. But I know there's something great inside of every single one of you. I serve this country. I serve our country. And then I landed in Hollywood. It was cool. I trained some big names. You saw them on the screen. I went home every day and felt like shit. It was zero purpose. I'm a Marine and I thrive on purpose. We all thrive on purpose. Yeah. Purpose is everything. Integrity is everything. So I had a shift. I walked away from Hollywood. Hollywood, and Andy reminds me of this all the time. I thought those were my people, but they're not. You 
are my people. This is my family. And we're here to help you create the best version of yourself. Because unfortunately today in society, we're slaves. And we want to help you break from that. I'm going to turn around. There's a phone number on my shirt. If you want to work with us, if you want to level up, if you want to change your life, if you want to crack your biological code, if you want to live as long as you can possibly live and be as healthy as you can possibly be and feel amazing, text this number and get on board with our program and work with us. And we will change your life. Hey guys, hey guys, listen, as you see this shirt, I want you to understand something. This guy right here, he trains everybody in our company. We have thousands of people in our training program. He literally will fucking literally crack your biological code who you are. Swear to God. Okay? Yeah, by the way, I'll say it, but it's 602 900 8703. And by the way, he's a fucking walking billboard. You know why? He's a fucking specimen of what it looks like to take care of yourself. And by the way, is discipline important? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, all right guys, hey, this is where we're gonna start training right now. There we go, God is bigger. Who believes in God? Raise your hand. Hey, listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna tell you right now, okay, who can fucking solve every problem in your life? God. Who's never lost a war? God. Whose DNA do you have? God. Come on, man, are you kidding me? You're telling me you can't slay every giant in your life and kick ass? Here's what I've learned. Everybody, let's talk about money for a minute. I'm going to talk about everything for a minute. My kids are healthy, they're beautiful, they're amazing. I've married up to a wife. I can't even believe I got my wife. I can't believe it. I can't believe who I feel about, the way I feel about myself. You know what I'm talking about, right? You want to change who you are? This is the foundation. These are the pillars right here, God. A lot of people don't talk about God anymore. This is the answer. I swear. Hey, and you know what? Hey, people say you cuss, f*** them. Listen to me, I'm a ministry man. I'm gonna tell you, it says in the Bible, without love, you're bankrupt. I know a lot of motherfuckers that don't cuss that got bad hearts. Love don't lie, I tell people the truth. I am the example. You're gonna be the example from now on. Dude, there's eight billion people in this world. Do we need some more fucking winners? Do we need more examples to start going out there and showing people how to be great? Yes. It is your turn. Get off the fucking benches. It's time to play. I want you to get hated on. I want your friends to not understand what you're doing. I don't care. Listen to me. When you're doing big shit, you're going to need him. Okay? You're going to need him. I don't care how much fucking talent you got. I'm a very talented guy when it comes to sales and closing. Money fell through my fingers my whole life. I found God. Boom. I'm like, God, dude, how is this crazy? It's like, listen to me, but what I told you is with humans, it's impossible. And with God, it's possible. I want you to understand money. You see that piece of paper right there in your hand? You got a pen, right? No, no, look at me. You see that? Write down 100 grand. Okay, he's writing down 100 grand. Now do me a favor. When you write down 100 grand, mark out the one and then put a five in its place. Is that a big difference? Yeah. yeah. Now, now, now mark out the five and put a nine. Is that a big difference? Yeah. You guys want to make a lot of money. There's a big difference between 100 500 and 900. Would you agree? Yeah. Wake up. Wake up. If you ever want to earn that kind of money, you're going to need to change. Write down a million. Okay, you see that? Now I want you to do me a favor. Write a zero behind the million. What is that? 10. Write down a zero behind that. I don't have a SaaS company. I don't have a tech company, I have a sales training company, I have a life coaching company, I have a fitness company. Nobody said we could have do this. Don't listen to them. Listen to me. I'm telling you, I'm gonna brainwash your asses. The news brainwashes you to be scared and afraid. So I'm gonna brainwash you to feel powerful and get the fuck out of here and go smash some asses. And I'm gonna tell you, anybody that doesn't like you, fuck them. I don't care, you said, Andy, that's, no it's not. You're betraying yourself. You know doubt is a traitor? Some of you guys in here, you're a fucking traitor to yourself. You keep looking around like, who's fucking me? You're fucking you. You're your own problem. You keep self-sabotaging yourself. You're the fucking problem. You're also, you're also the solution. By the way, can I say something to you guys? Did you guys see the YouTube shit I told you where I started three years ago? 
Guys, you want me to tell you how I did it real quick? Other than changing, other than changing, I had to change. You know what? We have so many people that run with us. We call them an army. I'm not their leader. They're the leaders. Leaders make leaders. Dude, when you're following somebody, you're voluntarily following them because they're an example of how you want to live. And we're in the era where we can go find somebody that has been where we want to go, that is where we want to go, and we don't have to envy them. We can emulate them, and we can get it. You know what I did? Brad Lee, right? Andy Frazella, Ed Milet, David Doggins, Gary Vee, what'd they say? Build a fucking brand. They all kept saying, build a fucking brand. I didn't even have a Facebook account. I hijacked my wife's. It said Jacqueline Elliott. One day it said Jacqueline Andy Elliott. And then I fucking kicked her name off and I was like, says Andy Elliott now. She's like, did you take my Facebook account? I said, I couldn't figure out how to open one, so I hijacked yours. <laughs> Dude, listen, just start, break the rules. There's an event coming up September 23rd. Listen to me, I'm not selling you a ticket. I wanna tell you about this. It's called the Limitless Arena. And if anybody's seen it, the muscle, I don't know if you know anybody that Keaton Ke the muscle is, he's putting on an event that's larger than the 10X, the biggest one they've ever put on. Nine to 10,000 people in Salt Lake fucking city with David Goggins, Ed Milet, Andy Frazella, Gary fucking V, Eric Thomas, Keaton the muscle, Rob Bailey. Dude, all the greatest influencers in the world are gonna be in one motherfucking house. One day event for 12 hours. Bradley. My brother. In 2021, I made a relationship with him. I spent some money with him. I did business with him. You know what I learned about these influencers? You know what I learned about people that are killing it? You know who their friends are? People that spend money with them or people that they make money with. So if you're fucking texting people like, hey man, what advice would you give me? They're not gonna respond. Because if you don't pay for it, you won't pay attention. They want you in a fucking coaching program. Then they'll give you whatever you want. I got a call about three weeks ago that said, hey, we want you to speak at that event. Is that fucking crazy? Somebody tell me, please, your little bitch fucking goals need to be 10 times bigger. Raise your fucking standards, just like I said in that video. Raise your standards. Quit fucking thinking so small. What, you're labeled? I'm a fireman, I'm a, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can serve people on the biggest level you wanna serve them on. Build a brand, social media. I want to tell you something. My social media account reached 150 million views last month. Do you understand that? Hey, I'm not boasting about me. Do you guys need to know how to speak, yes or no? Yes. You bet your ass you do. 99% of you in here don't know how to speak. You don't know how to talk. You don't know how to influence. You don't know how to persuade. Ed Milat said the vast majority of his wealth came from the ability to influence and persuade, pay pictures, tell stories. It's time to level the fuck up. You need to be a great speaker. Okay, number two, you need to learn how to build a badass brand. When you get on there and you try to build a brand, are they gonna fucking hate on you and your friends are gonna ask you, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you putting shit all over the internet? That's not you. Fuck up. Dude, they're not your friends. When you go to higher altitudes, the fucking chickens try to pull you down. They were your friends when you were a loser. They were your friends when you didn't care. But when you level up, instead of them calling you saying, dude, I saw you're really trying lately, man. I'm fucking inspired by it. Still looks kind of weird, but I know you're gonna get better. I'm proud of you, keep it up. <laughs> They're not fucking saying that. They're making fun of you. They're not even your people. You're hanging around with a bunch of frauds. Get out of your way. Go and become who you want and watch those motherfucking haters come out that you thought were your friends. It will show you very fast who supports you. Okay, you can have it all. God, family, listen to me. Don't give up your health. Don't give up your family, which is your why. Okay, it's your purpose. Don't give up your why, okay, for money. You can have it all. I'm gonna tell you something special and if you wanna know my secret why a lot of people follow me, it's because my wife's with me all the time. We're getting ready for a couple's mastermind coming up so she's writing some training at home. Other than that, she would be with me. Okay, remember when I told you guys I met Brad Lee? He was my brother? Now I do business with him all the time. He's with me all the time. Our family, our kids are best friends. Me and his wife are best friends. They hang out all the time. Brad's my brother. We're flying out tonight. We're going to, you know, 8% um, nation. I grabbed these slides for two seconds just because we're flying there tonight. You know what? In Dallas, here's what I'll tell you guys. 
I came in here today because you guys are local. I love it. I, I love that they put this event on for you guys. I'm glad that a lot of people didn't fucking buy a ticket. I'm glad that a lot of people didn't come. I'm glad that you guys fucking came. I know the rest of the day you're going to have a lot of speaking. You're going to have people talk. I hope today as I'm talking to you, and I'm going to go over two or three more things, that you guys feel on my heart what I'm trying to push into you. And you know what I want you to do? I want you to go fuck it up. And I want you to realize you're just a couple resources away in life from having everything you need to kill it. I want you to look different when I see you. I want you to look different. I want your fucking eyes to change. You hear me? I want everything to change. So guys, I'm grateful for you. I love you. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys at the booth. But I believe that I can adjust. Positive thoughts, I'm starting to trust. Nothing's hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. When I fight, they always remember.